as public transit in cities in New York treat large dogs can they come in with you um so they made a rule a while back that you can bring any pets onto the subway as you always could but they had to fit into a bag where you had to be like holding them so they can't just be like unless it's a service animal that's different but like if it's just your your standard pet right normal pet they didn't want you bringing them onto the trains and having them walk around because the rate of them accidentally getting stepped on causing issues with that kind of stuff was very high even a large dog people would step on its foot all these little things you know it just is not it's not safe for the pet really a lot of people think it's a dog ban because people don't like pets but i'm like no it's it's actually for the pet's sake as well um because the trains are so packed the trains are so packed so people started doing <laughs> i think we can find a picture <laughs> they started putting these huge dogs in bags <laughs> let me see if i can find oh let me see if i can find one the rule stated that they had to be in bags right so people were like okay bet and you started seeing things like, oh, here's here's a good one. Here's a good one. There's a dude that fit an entire husky into a backpack. <laughs> or it might have been a husky mix. I don't know. Look, look at this. <laughs> look at him. He was chilling. He was chilling. <laughs> I mean, and it worked. Like this dog is not in danger, right? He's on his person. He's not getting stepped on. I'll show you one of my personal favorites because because people got real imaginative um this this kept happening i kept seeing this <laughs> now people got better bags for their dogs but this was like this was like within the first couple of weeks after the the ban right people were like "Fuck, i need to take my dog on the train so they started um they started like cutting holes leg holes in them and <laughs> And they put the dog in the back. And then if you need to, you can pull up on the handles and you can lift the dog, right? So you're like holding it on the train. So it's not that bad. I mean, it was so funny. There were, there were some really good pictures that came out of this time. A ton of people did the Ikea bag thing. I saw a lot of people just like, like the dog that I showed you in the backpack. I saw a lot of people doing that where they were like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get a, a like a hiking backpack. Oh yeah. Here's here's one. Um, the title of the article is Woman Puts 52 Pound Dog in Bag to Get Around Like the Ban Issue. Look at this. <laughs> she has this big fucking dog. And he, you know, you have to have your dog in a bag if you want to bring him on the subway. So you and the dog are safe. So she puts him in this like this hiking backpack. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, a really good daily workout. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't know. Oh, here, here's a, here's a good one. For me, the thing that always made me laugh was seeing people with the uh, the bags with the leg cutouts, right? Like you saw before, but a lot of them were fluffy dogs, so it looked like this. <laughs> it looked like this. I think the dog I showed you before was like like a whippet or greyhound or something, right? But I kept seeing a lot of this where it was just like <laughs> like their fluffy legs sticking out. <laughs> I felt so bad, but they were chilling. They were chilling. A lot of the dogs actually kind of seemed to like it. I think the thing that they, they were trying to say with the band too is they were like, the dog has to fit in a bag, but they didn't say the size of bag, right? They didn't specify, they didn't specify like um, a carrier size. So, so long as you put a bag on them, you were chilling. <laughs> but yeah, just go look, look up NYC train dog bag. And you'll find uh you'll find a lot of good ones the funny thing is too this dog in this picture is dangling like the the guy has like this one drawstring bag uh or strap and he has this over his shoulder so this dog is actually just dangling i love it so much i love it so much i think it's good though like i love dogs um but i think it's a little crazy to get a large dog if you're in like manhattan and you need to take the train with them all the time like just don't have that big of a dog right like it's a little crazy, but um, people people would do it. They would get these huge fluffy dogs and I'd be like, all right, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I would see people bringing them onto the trains all the time. And I would feel so bad for the dog because I would feel like constantly people would be, like I said, like stepping on them, knocking into them because they're walking onto the train. They're looking ahead. They're not used to it. They, they trip over a dog and they suddenly look down and go, oh, there's a dog here because they're, you know, there's just so many people around. They're looking like head eye level to see what's around them. They're not really looking down at their feet. 
And um, I would see people trip over dogs all the time. Like they knock into them and stuff. So I was, while I felt bad about the band because it definitely inconveniences people, I was happy to see it because I felt like I, I just had witnessed so many times people fucking tripping over dogs all the time and like, you know, nearly hurting them. So I don't know. I was like, at that point, like, that's if you need to bring your dog somewhere farther in the city let's say right like your vet there, there are enough vets that you should be able to walk to most of them but like depending on where you live if you have to go to a vet by train just just pay for the uber that one time <laughs> right right just just for that ask a friend to give you a ride if you don't have a car or something there are all these car and taxi services and i know it costs more but if you can't pay what you need to pay to get your pet occasional, like the yearly medical care, then then you can't afford that pet. And that's just how I feel. That's just me personally, but I'm very, I mean, I worked in cat rescue, so I'm very much a proponent of like, you shouldn't own an animal unless you can take proper care of it kind of thing. And I think that includes, you know, yeah, the cost of the Uber to bring your pet to the vet because you can't bring it on the train instead of like trying to sneak it on the train. You know what I mean? That's just my thought though. That's my thought, personally. Do vets offer pet pickup often in New York? Probably not. There actually are services for that sort of thing. Yeah. So like not every Uber will allow a dog, but some will. Um, there are a lot of car services that you can call in New York that are about the same price as an Uber or like, you know, less or more. It really just depends on where you are. But they'll do that sort of thing. You know, they'll do that. Yeah, there are, there are mobile services, especially in a city like that where they know a lot of people don't own cars. So it's not really uh, like the stuff is inaccessible, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So so people people really should be able to find that if they need it. And you know, do kids need to be in bags on the train too? There's no specific ban, but you should not like you're not allowed to be having your baby run around if your baby's going to get hurt. Like if something happens because the train starts moving suddenly and a kid like gets knocked over, it's completely on that parent. There is in general like if you have a baby you need to be holding them. You are not allowed to just put a baby down on the seat next to you if they're like not old enough to be walking around themselves um and then and then just like not be holding them right <laughs> you don't put a, a little kid down in a seat and go hold on buddy when they're like two or like or less really when they're like one you know <laughs> i don't know about the official rules i've just seen people like never really doing that because of the the trains start and stop very suddenly um and you can get launched an adult can get launched so you know you pretty much always um, have to hold a kid, even if they're like six, right? It's very easy for them to get knocked over. So if I've ever gone on a train with, with a kid, I have a lot of like relatives and things or friends, kids, whatever, I'm always grabbing them, right? Not just an arm, like I am, I am full arm around while I hold a pole or something, even if they're holding the pole too. Or like I, I get behind them and hold the pole with my arms around them or something because they will, <laughs> they'll be like, look, I'm going to, I'm going to brace myself and I'm going to ride the train like a snowboard, right? And they get into like, like position and they still get fucking launched. <laughs> so I'm always like, yeah, you got it, buddy. No hands. And then I'm still there to like catch them. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's funny.